Skull on Thor. I had a young young man send me a, an email and then we followed up by some text. He was asking me, Thor, you know, I've been listening to all this content out there. I have a good relationship with my wife. We've been married for two years now. We don't have any kids, but uh, she's considering, we're considering having children and I am going to be the sole breadwinner and she seems excited to do this, but I have a problem. And he described his problem. His, his, gal, his gal wanted to go uh, every other week with some girls on an outing. And he was like, these are girls trips and I just can't have that. It's just unbelievable. I can't do it. All these girls are, are girls that are married and they do all of these activities together as a group. And you know how that is, all these girls times out. And to do it every other week is, is just unacceptable by me. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to have children with her. And I said, okay, okay, okay. Well, what exactly are you talking about here? Where, you know, these gals are hers. Uh, these are couples that you know. Is that is that what we're talking about? And he, and he said, yes, that's what we're talking about. So-and-so knows so-and-so from somewhere. And so and so knows someone for somewhere else. I said, okay. And, and are these girls like working, or are they all like actually married women that are in relationships and have children and stuff? He goes, yeah, they do. And I'm like, okay, okay. So what are these activities exactly? Are you talking about? Are they going to the club? Are they dressing up and going out? And uh, uh, what exactly are they are they doing here? You know, are they taking overnight trips and things like that? You know, because there is an issue if you're in a relationship and you've been in a relationship for a while and your woman expresses a, a high desire to go out with her girlfriends to go dancing or out to some event without you being present and with her girlfriends just to get away. Uh, you know, those are really euphemisms because she's bored and she needs excitement in her life. And the reality is that she may have all the good intentions in the world, but yeah, that's just a cover. And this is really sensationalized because it's true, number one, and it's very common. And in our space, a lot of guys fear it now. And it, it's absolutely an issue. However, you have a woman that's willing to quit her job, have your children, um, and she wants to go out with her girlfriends, you might need to get some more specifics because a lot of times when a girl's really into you, she doesn't want to go out and dance and party. She wants to be with you. So as I drilled down with this young man, what I actually discovered was is that since she was quitting her job, these little activities were trips to museums. One of the evening ones was a, was a speaking engagement at a historical museum with a lecture coming around uh, that was talking about a particular area that was a historical significance. Now, this little group of gals also met at a coffee house that was kind of posh, kind of interesting, and uh, only one of them had child at the time, but they were relatively young, you know, uh, right around 30 between 30 and 35 and they would meet and then sometimes they would meet at a house and play um, oh, there's a game I, I want to say bunko but it probably was a bunko but it was just kind of like the, the, the girls there together and so I asked him I said okay you, you see what she's doing here I don't know that there's an issue here you need to ask her you know now that you know what they're doing, I don't think this is an issue at all. She's leaving work and she's leaving a social environment where she's working around a lot of men in a cube factory, exposed to a bunch of different things, having a lot of social uh, needs met. And she probably feels a little insecure about just being at home until the children are there. And here's a group of gals that you guys know as couples that are doing these activities together and they're probably exchanging notes about being mothers and 
trying to be mothers and trying to be wives. I think that's freaking ideal. Uh, I don't know that that's a bad situation at all. And I think you've taken the girl's night out to mean all girl activities that might not include you since you're going to be at work. And so I got him to think about it and actually had him give me a, a call. And it kind of, kind of straightened it all out. And I think he's comfortable with it. But what it pointed out was, guys, when you listen to this content, sometimes you tend to take it so literally. And some of it really needs to be taken literally because it needs to shock you out of the sleep and the slave mind and wake up to how uh, human intersexual behavior actually is and what a woman's nature is. That being said, it really, if a woman's wanting to be your wife and have your children and stay at home and she wants to commiserate with girls that are in the same situation as her, that are coupled up and they're doing it in such a fashion, it really isn't the same thing. It is her just fulfilling some of her social needs. And I'll tell you this, I can predict this because I've seen it before. Once those children arrive, <laughs> this, this little coffee clatch, because they used to call it coffee clatch. It shouldn't be a problem. Girls would go have coffee. They'd chat with each other in the neighborhood. In fact, uh, with my second wife, I lived in a cul-de-sac. We were all about the same age. There were five couples there, and they literally had a coffee clatch once a week at one of the other's houses and just chitty-chatted. They all had kids. It was really actually nice community. And those friends will have lasted a lifetime. So don't overread into this. If you're actually having some good luck here and you're, you're throwing out boundaries that might, might seem a little harsh, really look into it. I'm glad he asked me because he really didn't confront her about her anything like that. He was asking advice. So that was good. He was smart enough to look around and, and, and think it's a problem, but he was kind of wavering and he talked about it. Unless he didn't tell me all the information I needed, uh, which I don't think that's the case, then I think he actually had a reasonable situation on hand that he was just kind of overthinking. Us guys can do that too. So get yourself a mentor if you're in this space, and especially if you're going down the path of a long-term relationship and add children into that mix and have a family. You have a strong Viking family, and you want one that's going to last because breaking it up is just a shitty way to go. With that, scope.